there's a lot of reasons to be amped for this ball game on Tuesday night. Yeah, you know, and, and our philosophy is always to really get ready to play good football no matter what time of year we're playing or who we're, we're playing. And you got to have that, that kind of philosophy or else this game will, will end up getting you. And, and, um, and so our, I think our players understand that and they, they do have that, uh, that, that kind of attitude. Um, you know, they're anxious to, to play again. Um, obviously, it's a challenge against Northern Illinois. They're uh, one, one of the, uh, the best, actually, uh, team in the MAC in terms of you look at their history here as of, yep. uh, as of late. And, and so they've got great tradition and, and excellent players. So it, it'll be a challenge, but that makes it all, all that much better. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get, uh, you know, sometimes the students don't mind cold, you know. Sure. Uh, especially if uh, you get a chance to be on national TV, you know. and so Especially if they have some time to get ready for the yeah, game, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how that all yeah. works out. But we had a great group um, last, uh, our last ball game. Yeah. That, that uh, students that stuck around, and uh, that's certainly appreciated. By the lay of the land right now, obviously you want to win them both. But even six wins right now, obviously it qualifies you. Mm -hmm. But even six wins might get you bowling. Um, that's a comforting thought, but you guys want to win the seven. But yeah. but are you guys reading it the same way that we're looking at it too? That that six might actually get you there. Um, you know, I, uh, I I don't know that that's. Uh, Accurate Going or not. Sure. Yeah, that, whether that's the case or not. Um, I've not dug into it that deeply. Yeah. All I know is, um, you know, we want to win two football games right. here, and, and um, that will certainly take care of itself if we get that done. Um, otherwise, um, you know, there's you have to wait and see, and there's just too many sure. things that can can happen. Uh, obviously, just being bowl eligible uh, may, may not be enough, and in some cases is not enough, you know. so. Are you playing your best football of the season right now? And are you best suited to play your best football of the season right now? Because they're similar questions, but there are mm -hmm. two different things there based on personnel and all the rest. Yeah, well, um, we are playing our best football uh, of the year. That certainly was the case um, in this last ball game against Buffalo. Um, you know, how we match up against Northern Illinois, uh, it's going to be interesting. They're very strong and physical uh, up front and uh, got a good linebacking crew. And if you look at them statistically, you know, they're good throughout – uh, throughout the conference and everything that they that they do, you know, and and so uh, they have no weak spots. You know, they're first in the conference, for instance, in uh, covering kickoffs, and so there's a lot of things that they do uh, outside of just just uh, rushing the ball great and sure. and putting points on the board that you're going to have to be ready to to go to work uh, on in, in order to win the game, and and so it's going to be interesting. It's it's going to be a, a hard fought uh, physical football game should be uh, a fun one to watch one more time regular season and then the conference tournament the the vibes around your program just from a comfortability factor knowing you won't have to leave athens until ncaa tournament time that is huge right because obviously you'd be a favorite of the tournament no matter where it's played anyway in the back but to have it here that's just a couple of weeks of comfortability isn't it as comfortable as you can be right. when, when you're playing teams that sure. want nothing more than to beat you. Right. But as far as being at home, it's just great. Set up and standpoint it, is what I was. Yeah, it, it, it really is. And it's something, again, we have to look back and, and thank the, the 2013 team right. and their coaching staff for providing this opportunity for us for this fall. And one of the things we're playing for this weekend, we win one more and we get to host it next year. And so that's, those are just a big, big thing um, for us to be focused on and incentive for next year. Uh, but it's a great opportunity for us to, to play at home, not just because it makes us better, but because it allows all of our fans, all of our supporters to be a part of it and not just, you know, hear about it or watch it on TV or something like that. They actually get to be there in person. What has this senior class, as small as they are, meant, meant to you, Coach? Well, they've been a, they've been a great group. Um, you know, they're, they're an athletic group. And the, the thing that if you look through the course of their time, if, if they uh, spent five years here as a red shirt, and, uh, they've, they've been to every bowl that, um, right. in, in, in the last five years. In the and, run, yep. In, in the run that we've gotten. So, um, you know, that's pretty special. You know, no one else at Ohio can, uh, can really say that. And, um, and so there is some specialness uh, about them. And, and obviously, um, I think this year's leadership is maybe as good as it's been uh, in, in, in a long, long, long time. And I attribute that to, you know, the seniors, our captains, um, you know, the Unity Council, which is not made up entirely of seniors, but, um, but a good gr group of them are. And, 
and uh, so the leadership uh, that they've supplied uh, really throughout the years because they they were mature guys coming in some of them and and were able to uh, really help supply leadership uh, as they came up through the program you don't have to be a senior in order to uh, to be a leader in, in athletics and and those guys uh, uh, proved that point X's and O's quickly how do you win this ball game well you know we talked a little bit about it earlier in the show um, we're back to even on the turnover ratio no. we're, we're gonna have to uh, get a get a few turnovers in this game and, and then play a very clean game ourselves. Uh, we did a great job of not penalizing ourselves in this last uh, ball game. Uh, we only had one penalty for five yards. Uh, if we can do do that or something similar to that, to where we're not shooting ourselves in the foot, that would be uh, huge. And then we need to get some big plays on them.